What's going on YouTube? I gotta admit, I made a really dumb mistake. As most of you guys know, I just finished building this house and of course while I was doing that, I had all my stuff in storage and not even thinking the storage was a basement, which of course was, had a lot of moisture in it. And now I'm left with say this beautiful Veritas jack plane I just bought this year, full of rust and it makes me want to cry. But there's nothing to do about it now. Just gotta get fixed. I'm not gonna do that in this video though. I'm tackling all the chisels. All the chisels got all the same damage. Um, the backs were the worst and I actually just cleaned those all up on the belt sander. And then I got thinking, well, maybe I should uh, film this because it was in January this year I made my setup for sharpening these with the sandpaper. So maybe we could go over how that's treated me in the past eight months and then restore these guys back to a new condition. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do is grab your chisel and just jam that into your belt sander as hard as you can. Don't worry about the heat, can't hurt these things. No, that's, ex that's exactly what you don't wanna do. Um, you're actually taking a pretty big chance at uh, hitting your chisels with a belt sander because of heat. Um, you could think of how thin the metal would be at the very edge of this chisel. If you get that too hot, you'll take the hardness of the chisel and you'll have a really hard time keeping it edged in. So, like I said, you're, you're taking your own risk. I'm gonna take it real light on the belt sander and I got cold water that try to keep the heat out of that very tip. And I'm gonna hit the backs first. And then once I have all the backs done, I'm gonna put the guide on and then I'm gonna redo my primary bevel. So right now there, I do have a primary and a secondary bevel on these. Uh, I'm gonna redo it right from scratch. So put a whole new face on that primary bevel. All right, so I'm gonna get the new primary bevel on these guys with the belt sander because uh, I'm crazy like that. No, um, you are taking your own chance. Just throwing that out there again. Gotta keep the heat away from that very, very edge. Uh, what I've done here on my setup is I've just tracked the belt hard one way. That way that I get enough room to reference off of here. And I'm just gonna keep touching it like that until I get nice even grind marks right across the whole bevel. All right, so I managed to screw up the first one. As you see me do it there with the honing guide, I kind of just went like on 90 degrees to it like that. I thought that would be like a better setup, but that ended up being stupid because I couldn't really tell where I was, or if I had even pressure all the way across the face of the, of the chisel. So I managed to get that one, I don't know if you can see that or not, but at a square. And that's a pain in the hole to fix. I'm gonna have to do that with the sandpaper on the piece of granite, knowing for sure that I'm flat. So even after fucking that one up, I still decided to risk it on the second one because you know this belt sander does do this primary bevel so fast. But this time I held the honing guide like this, real light, and but I could see the sparks knowing that I had even pressure all the way across and that worked. So literally took two seconds, new primary bevel, and I'm still square all the way across. So I'm happy with that. I'll go ahead and do the rest of them. So now that all the roughing is done on the belt sander, I'm gonna finally put that thing away and I'll talk about what I use for a sharpening system. There is, a, I, I got a full video on, on this setup, so I'll link that down below, of course, but essentially it's just a piece of glass with all the different grits sandpaper on it. And most of them are from Lee Valley and they're specifically made for sharpening and they go right up to one, 0.1 micron or whatever it works out to like 4,000 actually uh, the green is equivalent to 8,000 grit the pink is 4,000 this is 1,200 
And those are the ones from Lee Valley. The rest of the ones are regular wet dry sandpaper, what you get at like auto body shops and stuff like that. And that seems to be where the problem lies with this system. Uh, because where the issue is, is these ones from Lee Valley have an adhesive back on them. And, well, I'll show you, look at, they peel off. And that's key to the operation because I use double-sided tape on these ones and you can see all the tape residue still there. And that's just no good, right? Like I'll be, I'd spend half a day trying to clean that stuff all off. So scrapping this plate glass and move into a couple pieces of granite. I was lucky I had a couple of these pieces left over from my house build, but you probably can get these things free from like a granite supply store, like as a piece of scrap or something. Nice and flat, good and heavy, nice and thick. So that's the good thing about that. Um, my grip progression is gonna be 600, 800, and then uh, 1200 and 4000. Now I've ordered some of these, uh, three M ones for my uh, 600 and my 800. They just haven't come yet. So in the meantime, I've just taped these in place just so I don't get all that tape residue on these granite slabs. So now I guess I gotta go ahead and start working all these bevels, which is not gonna be fun. God, that's over with. It's actually a pretty big chore to, to sharpen a group of chisels like that when you gotta start right from scratch, like flattening the backs and everything. But anyways, it's done now. Um, conclusions for the sandpaper. It works, there's that, it's cheap. Uh, drawbacks, uh, it, it is a nuisance. I mean, you can get tears in it and stuff, uh, have to change it out, you know, all that but I guess what it really comes down to is just really budget friendly because uh, the alternatives like the water stones, they can be expensive actually, especially with the, having to buy a lapping plate with it. Um, diamond plates are expensive and they don't last forever. So it's just a good budget friendly option. And like I said, you can get it as sharp as you need to. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. I'm Ryan Nutwell. Thanks for watching.